Millions in Syria and Iraq are facing water shortages as the region's longest river, the Euphrates, dries up. Along with the drying up of the Euphrates River, many ancient discoveries have emerged. Imagine a river that has been flowing for thousands of years suddenly starts to dry up, revealing secrets that have been buried for centuries. This is what's happening to the Euphrates River, and the discoveries that are being made are shocking the world. The ancient river, which has played a significant role in the history of Western Asia, is giving up its secrets as it dries up, and the revelations are nothing short of mind-blowing. What has been discovered in the depths of the dried-up riverbed? Is it connected to the rapture, as some people believe? Today, we invite you to join us as we explore the jaw-dropping findings that have emerged from the Euphrates River. The Euphrates River is the longest waterway in Southwest Asia, stretching over 1,740 miles or 2,800 kilometers, and is one of the primary components of the Tigris-Euphrates River system. It rises in Turkey, meanders southeast through Syria and finally through Iraq. The Euphrates was born from the merging of the Karasu and Murat rivers in the Armenian highland, dropping down between the Great Taurus Mountains ranges onto the Syrian plateau. This river has a crucial role to play in the development of civilizations in the region, having been utilized for over 6,000 years to sustain early societies like Sumer and Mesopotamia, and later Babylon and Assyria. The Euphrates River is not just fed by the Karasu and Murat rivers, it also benefits from the contributions of the Toma, Peri, Chalte and Munza tributaries. The river's elevation ranges from 760 metres or 2,500 feet in the lowlands to over 1,500 metres or 5,000 feet in the plateaus and mountains. Its water supply primarily depends on winter rainfall and the melting of snow in the mountains from March to June while the water flow tends to reduce between July and January due to the typical subtropical climate, hot and dry summers, cold and snowy winters. Agriculture plays a critical role in the region's economy, with the Euphrates River providing a vital source of irrigation for farmers. However, the winter season can cause a pause in agricultural activities due to freezing temperatures and snow. The Euphrates also offers a bountiful fishing ground providing an additional source of income for local communities. Carp, barbels, catfish, spiny eels, frogs, toads and turtles are just some of the aquatic creatures that call the river home. The surrounding area is also a haven for various flora such as oak, pistachio, ash forest, cattails, mardi reed, other reeds, camel thorn, willow, date palm and various wildflowers. But who could have anticipated that this colossal river which once flooded the region would one day run dry. Its significance is not only limited to its historical and cultural influence, it is also a vital part of the Bible. According to the book, the Euphrates is said to have originated from the Garden of Eden and is divided into four distinct branches, each with its significance. Pishon, the first branch, is where pure gold is found, making it one of the most precious sites on the river. The second branch is known as Gihon, with the third and fourth branches being Tigris and Euphrates, respectively. It is believed that the Euphrates has never confined itself to the boundaries established by human beings, indicating the river's fluid nature. This mighty river also has a decisive impact on the arrival of the rapture. For centuries, the Euphrates River has played a vital role as a transportation provider and trade route for the Mesopotamia region from the Mediterranean, but its significance extends far beyond that. Known as the Great River, it holds immense cultural and historical importance. However, it is now hard to believe that this once flourishing river has dried up, leaving behind a barren land. What's even more intriguing about the Euphrates River are the eerie noises emanating from it. Some say it could be the voice of fallen angels seeking help. The sound is so strange and unsettling that it cannot be ignored. It is believed that this could be a sign of the prophecy coming true, as foretold in the Bible. Iraq is currently facing the worst drought in a decade, and the Euphrates River is no longer a reliable source of water due to a combination of factors such as lack of rain, mismanaged resources and pollution. 
In an effort to save crops, authorities drained the reservoir, but this move led to the discovery of an ancient metropolis that was hidden underwater for centuries. The archaeologists who investigated the site before the water rose were only able to collect a few artefacts, but this time they had a few days to conduct a more detailed study. The massive towers and storage facilities they found in the Matami Empire were impressive and the walls were made of sun-dried mud, which puzzled the archaeologists as to how they could have lasted so long. However, the most surprising discovery was a video recording of what appeared to be fallen angels crying out for help from the bottom of the Euphrates River. Whether they were truly fallen angels or demons remains a mystery. But many people find it hard to believe that the fallen angels are still trapped in the pit of the Euphrates River, unable to escape. But if they were to be freed, the consequences would be catastrophic. These angels would unleash the horsemen, who would bring about the destruction of one third of mankind, according to Exodus 27 verse 2. The horns of the pit shall be made on its four corners and overlaid with brass. According to Christians, this along with the revelation emphasizes that the Lord has complete control over everything and whatever he has planned for us will come to pass without delay. Their actions cannot change his plans. It is essential that they prepare themselves for the day of judgment and live their lives with righteousness and pity. The video footage captured by the archaeologist depicts the deafening noise of the fallen angels, their clamor echoing throughout the ages. With each passing day, the prophecies of old ring truer than ever before, causing believers to pause and reassess their lives. They believe that it's imperative that they cultivate unwavering faith and trust in Jesus, for the words of the Bible are coming to fruition right before our very eyes. And yet, there is still so much more to come, so much we have yet to face. Ephesians 6.12 For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. The vast and untamed territory surrounding the Euphrates River is a treasure trove of ancient history, beckoning archaeologists from all over the world. Yet with this discovery, their excitement quickly turned to concern upon hearing the bizarre and otherworldly voices emanating from the pit. It is said that the angels of the Lord are a far cry from the devil's minions, for they are not confined to any one place or time. But the fallen angels who have long been trapped within the murky depths of the river have a different agenda altogether. In fact, it's believed that they will summon forth 200 horsemen, creatures of such horrific countenance that their very appearance would strike terror into the hearts of men. These monstrous beings with their lion-like heads and serpentine tails will be unleashed upon the world, conquering all in their path with the aid of the fallen angels dwelling in the Euphrates River. It's a grim prophecy, but one that must be faced with unwavering strength and courage. The looming threat of the locust swarm would be another challenge that we simply cannot ignore. But what if such a grave situation were to come to pass? What would be the fate of those who have refused to repent for their evil actions, showing no remorse for their sins? Among them, there would be murderers, rapists, thieves and countless other perpetrators of heinous crimes. In a world so corrupted by sin, it's said that one third of the entire population would be wiped out without mercy. It's a terrifying prospect, to say the least. And yet the unfolding of this apocalyptic event is meant to bring about repentance in the hearts of all who witness it. But there will always be those who refuse to turn away from their wicked ways, and their stubbornness will come at a terrible cost. Christians believe that those who have refused to repent, there will be severe torture and unimaginable suffering, the likes of which they could never have imagined. The war horse will ride forth and these stubborn souls will be subjected to continuous torment for at least five long months. They may think they have escaped punishment, but what awaits them is far more terrifying than anything they have faced before. In the end, it will be the survivors who have heeded the call of repentance, the ones who were aware of the situation and turned away from their sins before it was too late. Centuries ago, many cities were erected along the banks of the majestic Euphrates River. For devout Christians, it's believed that Jesus Christ will make a second coming to earth and punish those who do not embrace the faith. According to them, the Saviour desires to bestow kindness upon His people and lead them towards a peaceful existence, which is why He created a world that would allow for such tranquility. As believers, they must be vigilant and ready for the arrival of the second coming. 
However, no one knows precisely when that time will be. It could be tomorrow, next year, or even centuries from now. Only the Lord himself holds that knowledge. Not even the angels are privy to that information. In 1 Thessalonians 4, 14 to 16, it states that those who have passed away in Christ will be raised by God when Jesus returns to earth. The Lord will come with a loud command, with the voice of the archangel and the trumpet call of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Now, share with us your opinions on the peculiar sounds coming from the Euphrates River. Do you think they are the voices of angels? Leave your thoughts in the comments section below.